Hey, John Kewen here. Today, I'm gonna show you our new lake project. We bought waterfront vacant land and we're turning it into the ultimate recreation getaway. My goal is to inspire you to go out and make stuff of your own. If I can do it, then you certainly can too. We're working on building a sauna at our property. Have you ever been in a sauna at a gym or something and it's kind of just warm and kind of meh? Well, it's not gonna be anything like that. So it's gonna be a wood-fired sauna going to be 8 by 12 feet. Uh, we've already started building the floor. I'll show you that here. Hold up. I think I should show you what we're planning first. I drew the full structure in SketchUp, like studs and everything. Drawing it with this much detail really helped an amateur like me kind of figure out the framing and solve a lot of problems before we actually went to build and mistakes cost money. We contacted our local planning department and found out that a structure under 10 meters square doesn't need a permit. So that's why we made it 8 by 12. And we also learned that this sauna could be built closer to the water than a lot of setbacks because it's not for human habitation. We wanted the design of this to be kind of like a classic little house shape. The sauna actually has two rooms. Two thirds of it is actually the hot sauna room and one third of it is gonna be a change room or like a little interim room. After settling on the design, the second most important part is probably choosing the best location. We wanted the sauna close to the water because sauna and swimming really just go hand in hand. After cleaning out the area a little bit, we laid out the foundation with string and that really helped visualize where the sauna is going to be. If you have any questions about this build or our design choices, please ask them in the comments. I'd love to answer anything I can. And if you have any tips for us, we are noobs at this, so please, we want your advice. This is another project that we were really grateful to have friends and family help out. There was a lot of digging and lifting and at one point Katrina crushed her hand, so more hands is better. Are we? Good. Yeah. Flow, flow slowly. Then the last inch like a one, two, three. Yeah, that feels good. Let's see it. What happened? So the floor for it is mostly built, like the foundation, and we've got some animal protectant in there and we're going to insulate it and then lay down this uh, flooring and square it up and then we're going to build the structure. But we obviously need to start with the foundation and that was one of the hardest parts and the only part that we've done so far. So here's the floor for the sauna deck. It's a bit higher than I expected to make it. I was hoping it'd be a bit lower to the ground, but we wanted to avoid cutting a bunch of roots for this tree over here. Now the plan is to block these out and put foam insulation in it. All right, so the foam is all cut to size with these little blocks to hold them in place. And then they just get tapped down. Any gaps will be filled with spray foam. And then we just need to glue down the sheathing to the floor and then tack it down and then the floor is done. Oh, all right, did it, solid pretty happy about it. And now we get to do the fun stuff, which is build the building. My brothers think this is a great camping platform. They're not wrong, but in the next video, we're gonna be framing the rest of the structure. Sorry guys. It's May in Canada and the water is super cool, but we're gonna jump in the lake because why go to the lake if you're not gonna go swimming?
Oh, God. <laughs> 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 nope, nope, nope. <laughs> oh. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.